What I do is after I put the conditioner in, I leave that in. This is kind of fun, me hanging out while I wash my hair. It really brings out my curls. Hey angels, welcome back to another video. So today's video, I've got my little pom-poms in, which is quite unusual for me. I don't really have my natural hair out quite often. A few videos ago, I showed you guys my skincare prep before a shoot. And today I want to show you guys what I do to prep my hair, my natural hair, as well as uh, my wigs and weaves before I have a shoot day. If you're new to the channel, make sure that you subscribe and click the bell as well because I upload every single week. So you want to make sure that you are notified every time I drop a brand new video. The first thing I'm going to do is wash my wig. So for my wigs and my weaves, this is the shampoo that I use. Shampoo, wait, shampoo, conditioner. So um, I love this one so much. This one has honey in it and this one has avocado oil and shea butter, which is really good. And it's really nice for the texture of the wig. So these are the ones that I use. Then for my natural hair, I've been using on Jackie's. I am obsessed to say the least. I haven't been very good with styling my natural hair. That's why I'll often have a braided hairstyle or I'll have wigs or weaves because I just never really knew how to style my hair. So I'm just being honest with you guys. I'm learning now slowly and on Jackie's is just an absolute favorite. So I got this from Clix. So I start off with the moisturizing co-wash cleanser. And then I finish off with the moisture intensive leave-in conditioner. So this is my combination for my natural hair. Okay guys, so for starters, I take a comb like this and I just brush through my entire wig just to make sure that all the knots are out. Then I'll also go here at the tips, I hold it like this and then I'll brush the tips out as well. Okay, so once that's done, I'm just going to rinse it a little. Now I'm going to take the shampoo, put a little bit in my hand, rub it together and then I just go like this. I have to creep down here. It's kind of like it's kind of like massaging um, the wig. So I just go all the way through. I focus on the tips a lot as well. So it's just a motion like this where I kind of scrunch and then go down. So now I'm going to rinse that. So what I like to do then is after the first rinse, I'll do a second rinse because there is still a little bit of shampoo left. I just want to say that it's really important if you have a wig or a weave, you really need to be cleaning it regularly. I'll do a wash on my wig probably every second week. So now you can see the curls starting to come out, right? So the next step now is to condition. So this is the one that I use. So I actually just use my tap and then I'll put it over there like that. Okay, so wig is done. So here she is. She's deep conditioning right now. So this is my little trick to get my wig, um, you know, my hair texture. Obviously, okay, first of all, you need to go to a good wig place. Um, so I will share where I get all my wigs from. I've been getting my wigs at Bell Boutique for six years now. Yes, six years, oh my goodness. Um, and I've never had any issues. What I do is after I put the conditioner in, I leave that in while I'm now doing my natural hair. So that's just going to go into the other sink. Okay, now it's time to tackle the mane. Let me not say tackle. This has become a very fun process for me. 
Oh, how cute are the pom poms though? I don't want them to go. Hmm. Okay. So, first thing I do is just wet my hair a little. Okay, I may just need this towel here. Ooh, that's a cool thumbnail. Let's post for a thumbnail here, guys. <laughs> okay. Give me a wait a little more. Okay, so here's the thing. I usually do this in the shower, so this is going to be kind of tricky. Um, bear with me. Okay, co-wash. Here we go. So I've put quite a bit in. I'm quite generous with the amount. Yeah, like that. Now we are going to get in there. Okay, so I first just like get the product evenly on my hair. And then once it's even, then I add a little bit more water. So I add a bit more water. And then I really start to just get into the scalp. Okay, this towel is, that towel is annoying me. Okay, so just get in there. And I just want to show you, like on Jackie, it really brings out my curls. Like, I didn't know what my natural curl strand was. On Jackie's has helped with the health of my hair. So, I mean, look at that, guys. It's like so bouncy. So let's wash a bit more. Also, this co-wash is basically a conditioner um, and so I didn't know about co-washing. I found out about co-washing maybe a few months ago. But anyways, um, it's really good because it doesn't strip away the moisture from your hair, especially if you have ethnic hair. It's really, really good because it helps to keep it moist and hydrated and healthy. But look at this, like look at the curls. I'm obsessed. This is kind of fun, we hang it off while I wash my hair. I'm gonna do that one more time. Look at how cute my hair looks like noodles. Now that that's done, you have to be gentle with your hair. So I take it in little bunches and I dry it like that. So I'm basically scrunching it in the towel like that. I love this guys. You know, a few years ago, I would have never, even like last year, I would have never been able to enjoy my natural hair like this, but I'm loving it so much. So, and of course shrinkage is real, look at that. It's time for the leave-in conditioner. I get quite a bit in as well. This is leave-in, so I can leave it in and I will not have to rinse this out. Like, I've never been able to see my curl strand like this, but you can actually see what my natural strand is. I go like that. Okay, so I'm gonna let that sit just for a little bit. I just want to rinse my wig. Okay, so the wig is finally being rinsed and if I put my fingers through it, it's so soft guys. The texture is good, it's all bouncy, I'm very happy with that. Now I want to come back to talking to you about my natural hair. So, here's the thing guys, I don't know how to do cornrows. Yeah, it's something that I'm working on, um, I'm not proud of it. What I usually do is after I've conditioned it like this, I will then uh, blow dry my hair and then what I usually do is either get my mom to do corners for me or like later today princess my hairdresser is coming to do my hair she's doing a nice natural protective style for me so yes that's what I usually do or I may do like a mini little braid and that takes long <laughs> I'll section off a bit like this and then I'll let it actually dry like this so let me come close and show you. So I'll do a braid like this because your girl doesn't know how to do corners. 
I'm not going to do that now though because my hairdresser princess is coming in a few hours and she's actually going to do a nice natural hairstyle for me. So I don't need to do that today. Thank goodness because it takes a bit long. But for now, while I wait for princess, I'm just going to put my hair back into pigtails. Just so that when she gets here, she can just easily blow dry it and get started with my hair. This is a cute little thumbnail. Okay, so with regards to my wig, what I'll then do is actually just let it air dry because I like it to remain curly. So after everything that I've just shown you, I'm just going to actually leave it outside in the sun because it dries much faster that way. So I leave it in the sun and then I just let it air dry so that it can have a more natural like textured feel. And then that's literally that and I'm all good to go. I can arrive on set, usually I'll arrive on set with my cornrows and then my wig on top and then we'll obviously see what to do from there depending on the looks. Thanks so much for hanging out with me and washing my hair with me today. It was super fun to do it with you guys. This I think is the last time I'm gonna be filming in this bathroom guys. I'm so sad. I'm so 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 sad things are going to be looking different i probably won't be in this space again but anyways yeah thank you guys so much again for watching if you enjoyed the video please won't you like it because it really supports my channel and don't forget to subscribe as well because i upload videos for you guys every single week thank you again so much for all the support i love all your comments i love engaging with you guys i love getting to know you guys better i hope that this video was fun that it helped you and that you'll also be looking after your hair a little bit better if you aren't already. I know that was me for long. I used to just hide my natural hair underneath my wigs and never know what to do with it. So I'm really enjoying learning how to take care of my natural hair because it's really important, you know. It's all well and good to have a beautiful looking wig or weave, but what's going on underneath there? I do have a few split ends, which I'll probably ask Princess to help me get rid of today. Let me go now. Thank you guys so much again for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!